Uh -huh. Ooh. <clears throat> River bottoms on the low side with new tires. Like something. Hello. River. <laughs> This is like the perfect bike for these trails. So fun. <laughs> Whew. Yeah. Stay on the outside, see how that goes. <laughs> Exposure. <laughs> Over the trees. Nope, <laughs> this is not a log pile. <laughs> this is <laughs> That's what happens when you take these uh, off the beaten path trails. This is the main trail right here. So, not many trails are open yet this early in April. But this one is open. It's usually not open this early in the season, but we've just had a really dry winter. Not that much snow. So, yeah, it's pretty sweet to have this to ride. Wow. Wait for the other trails to open up. Ooh, right here. This low side is amazing. Running single speed. I think I'm gonna really like these tires. <clears throat> I'll point them out shortly when I come to a stop. And this is a problem. That looks like a whole lot of problem. So I don't wanna ride this. Anytime you run across a trail and super muddy like this it's time to turn around and go back but this is an offshoot of the main trail so when I go back I can continue riding I just stay on the main trail one thing I see people do when they come across muddy sections like that is they go blazing their own trail to get around it and that just widens the trail and creates more of a mess so we want to keep single track single and not blaze a new trail just to get around a muddy section there we go good old low side check out this tree this is why it's so nice to come down here that tree oh wow all right let's talk about the tires I put on here so this came with uh, some Maxxis Recon uh, 27 5 by 2.8 so plus tires and they were okay I mean I had them on here since I bought the bike new um, but I realized they were getting kind of old and um, I didn't have the traction that I wanted so I wanted to try these out and these are also 27 5 by 2.8 um, and so I got the Schwabe knobby neck on the front and then I decided to go with a Hans Domp on the rear and I think this will be a good combo because if you look at these treads these are very similar to what we commonly see um, with like the Minion DH uh, F tires or whatever um, just this very similar pattern it seems to work really good on the front and then on the rear we've got the more grippy kind of you know traction to propel you forward and not quite as aggressive as cornering blocks like this one has so yeah 
think it'll be a good combo and so far it feels pretty good on these trails um another thing i did is i switched out to a 35 mil stem um got my chromag bars on here and so on um aside from that you know if you've been watching my channel i put this fork on here and different stem and bars versus the sunrise bars and the original surly rigid fork which worked fine um this slackens the bike out a little bit so it definitely feels quite a bit more aggressive geometry wise which is kind of fun it's not quite as twitchy um i like twitchy sometimes i mean i'm a bmx rider right? so bmx bikes are twitchy but there you go low side trail's looking pretty dry there's a few damp spots on this trail and as you already saw there's an offshoot that went right into a big muddy section that i avoided so yeah let's continue riding and enjoy it all right back on the main trail this is a lot better right by the river sweet <laughs> Can't believe the boats are out already. Look at that. <laughs> I guess. It's like 58, 59 degrees. <clears throat> there it goes. <laughs> Uh, hit that little uh, log and it came up and hit the underside of my pedal. Funny. Um, so, this trail here, which is the Minnesota River Bottoms, and I'm riding between um, Bloomington Ferry Bridge Road and the Lindale lot. I'm not sure if I'll cross the raft or not. I might just ride to the raft and turn around. I don't know yet, but there is a raft to get across Nine Mile Creek. Um, so a lot of people ride this trail. It's pretty uh, flat, not a lot of climbing. So it makes riding single speed perfect. And then uh, it's, you know, there's not, it's not like a, jump trail or even a technical trail it's just fun flowing single track through you know <laughs> pretty awesome nature people ride this for the experience and i know there's a lot of hammerheads that come down here like what i mean by that is sometimes people will be on their um <clears throat> gravel bikes or xc race mountain bikes and just haul back and forth on this trail it's a good trail for that and you don't really need suspension or a big travel bike or anything like that hello how you doing <clears throat> so it's a really nice trail and it is a multi-use trail so um bikes yield to pedestrians or hikers whatever you want to call it and let them know you're coming he heard me coming because i was talking to you there on youtube <laughs> but uh you know i slow down say hi to them a lot of times thank them they move out of the way of course i didn't 
thank that guy, but I said hello. It was nice to him. I was going to try to duck under that, but I have my pack. And I know <laughs> that it would hit. So this is not where I want to go. <laughs> oh, I see. This is the... So I think this used to be an old bridge that doesn't exist anymore. So the reroute is over there. Hopefully it's not too muddy on the reroute. Okay, back on the main trail. This is all soft, but not really muddy. Let's see how this goes. Nice. So down in Bentonville, I talked a bit about, you know, mountain biking kind of having a marketing problem because most of what you see in video, it's uh, is people jumping, doing drops, all that stuff, you know, smashing berms. <laughs> and mountain biking, isn't necessarily all of that i just cleaned this bike so i'm gonna take the walkover route on the board but uh you know this is adventure you know getting out in nature riding on the trail right it's not there's nothing extreme about this <clears throat> and this is in a nutshell, especially up here in the upper Midwest where we don't have mountains, this is what mountain biking is right here, single track, right? And, you know, as time went on, more and more, you know, free ride kind of was the start of it all. But then you got DJ bikes and younger people getting into the sport or people like me that come from BMX that want something more gnarly to ride or whatever, right? We want jumps, which is all fine. But it's, I feel like nowadays it's mountain biking is kind of misrepresented <laughs> in that sense because I hear people tell me, oh, I couldn't do that. That's mountain biking scary. It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> this, what I'm doing right here, is not scary. <laughs> but the perception they have is that there's jumps and drops and gnarly rock features and things like that that they gotta ride. And, you know, certain trails have that, <laughs> but most trails don't. <laughs> so, and that's what makes the river bottoms. So nice. They're just fun. Get out, get your fitness on. Flowy. You know, you can go as fast and slow as you want. Super nice. No super gnarly climbs. Ride at your pace. Big barge there on the river. <clears throat> the main thing that's transported along the river, I believe, is grain. So, like grain elevators along the river. You can see them off in the distance. This is a Minnesota River and it merges with the Mississippi River a little ways that way, where uh, St. Paul and Minneapolis kind of meet. And then uh, it just heads straight <laughs> south. So, yeah. This is cool through here. All these trees. If you do ever 
come ride here if you're local or traveling here. Um, the key here is as long as you see can see the river, you're good. There are offshoot trails here and there. They all generally tend to lead back to the main trail. Um, but the river is always going to be a reference point. So you can make sure you don't get lost. <laughs> ah. So amazing to be out here riding this time of year. I'm definitely liking these tires. They were all pretty good. I might have them a little on the firm side. One thing I forget is like as you go to more volume, you don't need as much pressure. And I think I put what I would normally put in a 2.4 or 2.6 tire. I'd probably go with a few PSI less. <laughs> it's hard to spot those sometimes. They just come out of nowhere. People build them up. And you got to trust that <laughs> it's built well. This is a table coming the other way. And it's all <laughs> worn out. So it doesn't work very good anymore. Somebody will come in here and fix it up I decided I wanted to keep going a little bit so I'm gonna cross the raft so this is how it works and now it's getting a lot of control <laughs> I might have to stand further back There we go. So pretty cool. And you just cautiously step off and go up the stairs. Oh, there's the man right there. You're on, you're on my YouTube. I am. Yep. <laughs> what am I saying this time? Am I get myself in trouble. Yep. Oh, good. Did you guys? When did you guys put this in? Um, I wasn't part of the crew, but of course I was in consulting mode uh, a couple yeah. weeks ago. Cool. Like a week before we got all that snow. Oh yeah. <laughs> Figure, right? Yeah, figures. Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> Pretty good. <Yeah. laughs> kind of interesting running into Dennis down here. He's the trail steward for these trails. Uh, has been involved in these trails for many, many, many years. And uh, yeah, pretty cool to run into him. <laughs> So now I crossed with the raft and heading towards what's called a Lindale lot. I probably won't go all the way to the Lindale lot, but go a little ways here and then basically turn around and go back the other way. This part's kind of fun. You can see the road a little bit to my left there. It's a dirt road. Oh. Hello. How's the trail? It's good. So, good stuff. Yeah, this part here 
which is a, just a dirt road right now but i have a feeling this is all going to be part of the stuff they pay first so yeah we're near the lindale lot because this is the 35 w bridge well and that's the lot right up there and i'm gonna turn right up here take the gravel road back to meet up with the single track again and do this part end part as kind of a loop and then i'll just be backtracking the way i came pretty fun Whew. Here we go, back on the single track, heading back the other way. Notice the river is off to my left now, instead of off to my right. So, pretty easy to navigate around here because the river is always your guide. Whoa. <laughs> Little exposure. Fun. One thing I really like about single speed is having the one gear, never really having to think about shifting or anything. I'm just cruising along. <laughs> the simplicity of it is super nice. Love it. Kind of like going and riding my fancy 12 speed dual suspension <laughs> bikes and then I get on this bike and there's just something so pure about this that brings me back to kind of the earlier days of mountain biking. <laughs> Ooh, this is sandy. <laughs> Plus tires really help in that sand. There's some more. This is so cool, so fun. And when I need to climb or get through something, I just stand up and power through it. So awesome. Like right there. I don't have to think. Ooh. So now I'm back at the raft. And it's over on the other side. So I have to pull it over here. Um, to this side. Then get on it. And then go to the other side. And since nobody's waiting on the other side. <laughs> Sometimes if there's somebody over there, you just want to wait so, so they can use it to get over here. All right, let's do this. this out of the way so it doesn't get all dirty uh, this is kind of where it's getting caught up there we go this just adds to the adventure of the river bottoms it makes it extra cool
It doesn't take that long. It's pretty quick. I think where I stand kind of determines how the raft is going to go. Cool. I don't think these boards, these extensions on the ends were always here. I remember in the earlier days doing this, you kind of had to jump over onto the raft but now with these extended boards it makes it a lot easier to get on and off not many trails have a little raft crossing makes this one unique Whew. there we are Back on the trail. <clears throat> so on my way, uh, going east, I generally stay to the right and ride all the right trails. And then as I'm going back west, I stay on all the right offshoots. to so get a little bit of variety, but a lot of it's the same trail like this. But here's a split, so I'll go to the right because I was doing the left last time. It's still a little different experience going back. And so going back this way, I won't be as close to the river the whole time. And then it comes back and meets up with the same trail. This part was a little more technical. Okay back on the main trail so this bridge thing here it's a railroad bridge but it turns i have no idea if it's active or not anymore i don't think it is but <laughs> when trains used to have to go across that would have to close off the river it's kind of a cool old uh piece of uh <laughs> infrastructure take a look at it here yeah pretty wild hmm. all right so this i think i always i did log this at one point where i think this is like the one third mark at least between Lindale and Bloomington Ferry so I don't have a long lot farther left to go and I'll stay to the right like I was talking about before might even run into Dennis again so over there to the left it's the walking bridge that's the Bloomington Ferry uh, bridge a lot it used to be a car bridge a long time ago but it used to flood all the time <laughs> so they got rid of it and now you take a highway called 169 to get over the river but yeah remember the old days driving <laughs> rickety old road and the bridge now they just created a walking bridge and elevated it way up there <laughs> So, the end of this is a huge climb. Not this, but to get up to the lot. And on a single speed, always a challenge. See how it goes. Good to get up speed for it. <laughs> Get some momentum. <sighs> nope, <laughs> not this time. Whew, stalled out. 
<sighs> okay, there you have it. That was the river bottom trail. Um, it's really low side. Wonderful bike. Absolutely love riding this thing. Got a little bit of mild mud, not really on it from a few spots, but the trail is in amazing shape this early in the season, so that's awesome. Hopefully the other trails will be opening up soon. But for now, um, I'm gonna head home, eat dinner. I appreciate your support from my channel. Please like and subscribe. Peace.